Hey you guys, uh, good morning for me and welcome to my channel. So I am bare today because we are doing, oh my god, my eyelid is a little stained though y'all don't let me lie. We are doing an all day wear test. So I got some PR from Astera Cosmetics, this is not sponsored. Um, they just sent me some stuff over that they wanted me to test out. And we're going to test it all out today. I'm going to do check-ins all day long. And we're going to see how all of this wears. So they sent me four things I can use today and a little extra. So the first thing we're going to do to give everything a good shot is take our Benefit Professional and just put that all over our face and focus it in that t-zone because y'all know that's where my pores are the worst okay now the first thing they sent me y'all i'm a little scared they sent me their hd foundation and we're just gonna pray that <laughs> this is a good color match this is what it looks like it's got some pretty nice packaging it's got a pump and we are just gonna take a couple squirts of it put it on our hand and hopefully apply it and it'll be probably a little dark but that's okay we can work with that I think it's not bad though and that is not on them they let me they told me to pick my shade and I suck at picking shades so that's on me but I'm gonna use my Clarisonic because this is my favorite way to blend foundation and blend it out So, uh, I'm not mad at that. The shade is pretty spot on. Um, definitely pretty full coverage. Easy to blend out, which, you know, the Clarisonic makes everything <laughs> easy to blend. But definitely pretty spot on. <clears throat> and I've never used this kind of concealer. But they sent me their little concealer pot. And I'm going to go ahead and attempt to use that for regular concealer and then for eyeshadow primer too. Ooh, and they sent me the super light color. Okay, and I'm just going to blend that out with a beauty blender, I guess. And see what kind of coverage we can get out of this. Okay, so this definitely has some coverage. Definitely a little light, which again, they let me pick my shade. So that's, that's on me. But it's definitely got some coverage to it. And it's not bad. So, <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and bronze and brighten my face up. And I'll be right back to try our last two products. Okay, so the next thing that they sent me was this eyeshadow palette. Got the logo on the front. It's called Coffee Bay. Again, we don't use the brushes that come in these, and these are the colors. So I'm just going to make a quick, simple eye look. I'm going to take the tan and just put it all over the lid and in the crease. It's got a little bit of kickback, nothing too crazy. And this is about the color of my skin, so you're not going to see much pigment payoff right now. We'll have to see when we get to a darker color. 
Okay, then we're going to take this color right here and we're going to be a little more careful with it and put it actually into the crease. It is more of a satin than a matte, so it may not perform quite like a matte would. Okay, then I'm going to take this darker color right here and put it in that outer corner. It's a little bit shimmery, so it's probably not going to work quite like it should, but we'll see. Alright, and then I'm going to take this gold right here lay it all over the lid and I told y'all this would be a simple look we are really back to the kind of looks I used to make when my channel was still brand new because these were the looks that I was comfortable with because I loved me a good smoky eye and a gold lid I still do I just try to branch out because I'm not nearly as scared of color as I used to be. Okay, so then I'm going to take my good pencil brush and just so that we can use every color in the palette, we're going to take this middle color right here <clears throat> and put that on the lower lash line. take that lattice color too just on a small brush and we're going to highlight the inner corner with that just a little bit and put some in the brow bone and that is it so the last thing we have gotten here I'm really excited about we have got an eyeliner it is called gold mine and it is supposed to be just like a long wear gel liner so y'all know me where am I gonna put this in my waterline and see how it holds up it does actually show up which is amazing because getting a light eyeliner to show up is rare. We get up close so y'all can see that it's actually performing really well in that waterline. And I'm making spots on my face. Okay, so that added a nice little pop of color. Uh, the extra they sent me was just a little lip balm. Which I'm going to use to uh, prep my lips real quick because I'm about to put on a lippy. And this is, uh, I think it's vanilla. Pretty nice. Uh, you know, lip balm is lip balm, but it's not bad. Wipe a little bit off. And we need some mascara, of course. They didn't send me that. Okay, guys. So, this look is finished. I feel like I'm wearing my old school makeup. Like, just because of how I did this eye look. But, uh, the makeup is done. I tossed on a Crate Finds Lippy and Solstice. One of my faves. Putting that in my pocket, though, because it's the satin formula. So, it's got to come with me. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to do like we did when we tested out the Crate Finds lipstick before and we are going to see how this foundation, concealer, and everything holds up. We are going to give it a good old spritz of my all-nighter because that's what I do with any makeup look I wear all day. And it should have a fair shot at lasting throughout the whole day I did it just like I always do so we will check in throughout the day my day is really boring I'm just going to work today so don't expect anything exciting but we're gonna check in a few times I will sit down with you at the end of the night 
and just so we can get a time check on this it is 7 24 a.m so well 7 25 so it is bright and early we are going to work we're going to have lunch dinner breakfast maybe coffee all that good stuff and uh yeah that's what we're going to do today and we're going to see so here's your last close-up of this look the foundation is pretty full coverage pretty good match hasn't settled into any lines yet the concealer is covering my circles the eyeshadow is really pretty and the eyeliner is in the waterline though I will say I don't expect that to last all day because it is in a waterline but yeah that is the makeup so far and we will be back with a check-in pretty soon you guys okay guys so we are about five hours in it is almost noon and so far so good the foundation is holding up pretty good settled a little bit but nothing too crazy eyeshadow still looks nice dark circles are still covered and uh yeah eyeliner disappeared but no big shocker there i will see y'all in a few more hours okay guys so i'm a slacker and this is your last check-in so it is like 8 30 p.m right now where's my phone i'm gonna show y'all here it is it is around mm, 8 50 so we're coming up really on like nine o'clock at night so i've had this on for 14 hours so here is the breakdown the eyeliner obviously didn't stick it's waterline eyeliner totally normal totally cool the eye makeup is a little bit smudged but it still looks pretty good um the gold just kind of faded a little bit but that's pretty normal too <clears throat> the only complaint I have with the foundation, I went out walking in the heat today. It is super hot here. Um, so my foundation melted a tiny bit while I was out walking. Uh, the only complaint I have is that I got really oily like through here. But I have really oily skin. So that's not a super big deal. So basically how I'm feeling is this is pretty solid makeup, you guys. Like... Um, I'll put some of the prices down in the description and I'll put their website so you can go check them out yourself anyways but uh yeah so far so good I really like this I'm gonna have to try it out a few more times I'm not a big fan of the concealer but I'm not a big fan of concealer that comes in a pot anyways so that's okay um, that's just a personal preference I usually just use that for eyeshadow primer so I'm gonna try it for that um, pretty soon I'll let y'all know but yeah, that is it. Stair Cosmetics is definitely a very solid brand. I am so excited they sent me this. Not sponsored. But uh, yeah, so that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I will see you in a couple of days with a vlog. Bye, you guys.